Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today about the Heron's formula and this is one of the important topic uh, for uh, basic geometry and uh, mensuration even because uh, this will be used in both the way in mensuration and geometry as well. So basically this is the topic from mensuration and we are going to discuss today about the Heron's formula, what is that and how it will be useful for all other calculations of finding the area of triangle and all. So, Without wasting time, let me start this, uh, this Heron formula, Heron's formula, Heron's, Heron's formula. This is the topic and we are going to discuss about the, how to calculate the area of triangle. So area of triangle, you can calculate by any triangle, if it is a right angle triangle then it will be better, if it is not right angle triangle even though we can calculate the area of triangle by using 1 by 2 into base into height that is what we can use here right so area of triangle can be this is called height this one is height and this one is considered to be base so height and base ye hai base or ye hai height so base or height so ye hai base or ye hai height area of triangle area of triangle can be calculated as 1 by 2 into base into height right that is 1 by 2 into B into H so if it is a right angle triangle then we can calculate it easily but if it is not a right angle triangle suppose some triangle is like uh, different like this then how to calculate the area of triangle in this case what will happen is the Altitude can be drawn from any of the opposite side to the corresponding sides, right now, to the corresponding vertex. For example, I can draw here altitude AD, if we see a triangle and AD is altitude, then we can also write the find area of triangle, area of triangle in this case 1 by 2 into base into altitude. Height is nothing else but altitude. Altitude is what? Altitude is the perpendicular length from opposite vertex to the side. Opposite vertex, this is the opposite vertex. And if you draw a perpendicular from this vertex to this side, this will be called altitude. So, A is altitude here. So, we can use it like 1 by 2 into base BC into height AD. Altitude is AD. So, in that case, you will be able to find the area of triangle. But for this, one altitude from opposite vertex is definitely required and then only you can use this formula. Agar altitude na diya ho to, agar suppose karo ki tino side ka sirf length diya ho to, to kaise karo ge? To uske liye Heron's formula basically kaam karta hai. Ki agar tino side ka length diya ho, tab hum kaise karenge, find of area of triangle kaise calculate karenge, ये निकालने के लिए हिरोन्स फॉर्मूला का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है। तो कैसे? आखिर हिरोन्स फॉर्मूला है क्या? अगर ये कहूँ कि ये एक ट्रेंगल है और इसका ये तीनों साइड A B C लेट A B C जे ट्रेंगल A B C जे ट्रेंगल, then length of opposite side of A is represented by a small a। इस लेंथ को स्मॉल a कहते हैं। इस लेंथ को स्मॉल B कहेंगे क्योंकि ये B के अपोजिट में है। तो this length is called a small B, right? This length is called a small B, and this length is called a small C, because it is opposite to the side C. So that will be C, A, B and C, A, B and C. This is C, that is called a small A, and this is called a small B. You know, perimeter is what? Perimeter is total outer length. Total outer length, perimeter, let me write this definition, perimeter is what? The total outer length of any figure, total outer length of any geometrical figure, any geometrical figure called perimeter. Perimeter and if it is circular that is called circumference. A special term is given when things in round shape 
then the special terminology is used that is called circumference right so total outer length perimeter of triangle is what will you tell me what is perimeter perimeter of triangle is total outer length it means sum of length of ab plus bc plus ca that is total length is a plus b plus c total length yes a plus b plus c a plus b plus c this is called perimeter p stand for perimeter there is another term that is called semi perimeter semi means what semi means what half semi perimeter and semi perimeter is what half of the perimeter that is a plus b plus c divided by what a plus b plus c divided by 2 and that particularly semi perimeter is represented by s that is a plus b plus c by 2 so semi perimeter is nothing else but half of perimeter that is total outer length whole divided by 2 right okay so suppose a triangle has the side just example to explain this if the length of length of sides of a triangle triangle are 10 centimeter 12 centimeter and 18 centimeter then what is the length of perimeter length of perimeter perimeter right like this so just simple idea is length of perimeter would be what 10 plus 12 plus 18 so perimeter would be just simple way you can write here 10 plus 12 plus 18 total outer length sum of length of all three sides 18 plus 12 is 20 and 20 plus 10 is 40 and suppose if someone find out want to find out although not asking question but someone if want to know that what is the semi perimeter then what will happen this is 40 divided by 2 half of perimeter is 20 right na? half of perimeter that is a plus b plus c is equal to divided by 2 is semi perimeter semi perimeter i hope you got it right now now area of triangle how this will be helpful to find the area of triangle so according to heron's formula area of triangle area of triangle which all three vertices sides which all three sides are given are given can be calculated by using this can be calculated by using this how to calculate this how to calculate this area of triangle can be calculated by using Heron's formula he has given this a specific formula by which we can calculate the area of triangle so area of triangle is equal to under root s s minus a s minus b and s minus c this is what the Heron's formula says that area of triangle can be calculated by using this right and what is that using this s into s minus a s minus b and s minus c that is the square root of under root s minus a s minus b and s minus c right so let me start with doing some questions how to deal with this and what are the formula of uh, how this formula will be useful to find the area of any triangle any triangle where length of all three sides are given even right angle triangle or even isosceles triangle or even equilateral triangle all can be calculated by using this so all kind of triangle area of all kind of triangle can be calculated by using this formula so let me write one example question is here find the 
area of triangle whose length of sides length of sides are 5 12 and 13 centimeter 5 centimeter 12 centimeter and 13 centimeter respectively triangle abc respectively of sides ap bc and ca of triangle abc we have to calculate this area of triangle which sides are 5 12 and 13 you must be knowing about the fact that if 5 12 and 13 are the sides this is what called Pythagorean triplet. It means sum of a square of 2 is equal to a square of 3. Isn't it? Do you know that? 3, 4, 5 are Pythagorean triplet. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. And 5 square is also 25. Similarly, 6, 8 and 10 are Pythagorean triplet. Means 6 square is 36, 8 square is 64, 64 plus 36 is 100 and 10 square is also 100. Similarly, 5, 12 and 13 is also are also Pythagorean triplet. 5 square 25, 12 square is 144, 144 plus 25 is 169 and 13 square is also 169. So that is why these are Pythagorean triplet means sum of a square of two sides is equal to a square of third side and this is possible when? When this will be a right angle triangle. Pythagorean triplet is just valid for right angle triangle. So it is a right angle triangle as well. What the data I have given that is a right angle triangle as well. You know. So right angle triangle as well. So we can calculate the area of this triangle particularly by using the formula of right angle triangle as well. Isn't it? Can we calculate like this? Yes. But what we wanted to use it? Heron's formula. So we can do it by Heron's formula and verify by using right angle triangle formula. So that we can justify that what we did that is absolutely correct. Got it? Okay. So in that case, let me write first about the Heron formula. So I am writing here solution. Got it? What need to write first? If all three sides are given, then what is need to write first? S, semi-perimeter. Because Heron's formula require S into under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. A is AB and AB is 5 centimeter given. B is nothing else but CA. Sorry. Side opposite to AB is C. You know, C is side opposite to AB and B is side opposite to CA. So AB is 5, CA is what given? 13 centimeter and A is what given? A is side opposite to BC and BC is given what? Respectively means BC for 12 centimeter. So semi perimeter therefore semi perimeter perimeter S can be calculated as A plus B plus C by 2. That is 5 plus 13 plus 12 by 2. 13 plus 5, 13 plus 12, 30 divided by 2. What is that? 15 centimeter. Anybody can say this? Isn't it? So, this is 15 centimeter. I, I can write here this is 15 centimeter. And now using the Heron's formula. By Heron's formula. Heron's formula. Area of triangle can be calculated like what? Will you tell me? S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Am I right? Right now? Okay. So what has happened? Here, I can write here, this is a 15 into 15 minus A. A is what? A is 12. 
and then 15 minus B, what is B? 13. And then 15 minus C, what is C? 5. So, A minus B minus C, and what will come this? 15 into, 15 minus 12 is 3, 15 minus 13 is 2, 15 minus 5 is 10. So, we can write more factors of it. Can we write more factors of it? Yes, we can write more factors of it. And what would be that more factors? 15 further can be written as 5 into 3. 3 is alone, 2 is alone. 10 can be written as 2 into 5. Now, pair of 5 is, one pair, the one pair of 5 is there. So, it will come outside of a square root. One pair of 3 as well. So, it will come outside of it. And one pair of 2 as well. So, it will come outside of it. 5 into 3, 15. 15 into 2 is 30 centimeter square is the area of triangle. That triangle which we have to calculate which sides are 3, 5, 12 and 13. But as we know, what is this? This is the area of triangle. Right now? This is the area of triangle. So, we know that this is the area of triangle. So, I can write here this. Right? This is the area of triangle. So, I can write here this. 5 into 12 into 13. 5 is what? 5 is say height. 12 is what? Base. And 13 is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is longest side. So, in this case, if someone wanted to calculate the area of triangle, method 2. Method 2. The area of triangle is 1 by 2 into base into height. Got it? So, what will happen? 1 by 2 into 12 into 5. 2, 6 ja, 12. 6, 5 ja, 30 centimeter square. Do both the answers same? Have both the answers same? Same, na? So, we can calculate. But if it was not right angle triangle, but we then in that case, we will be not able to use this formula. You have to use this formula under any circumstances. So, whenever area of triangle is given, we can calculate any one of the missing sides. And whenever all three sides are given, we can calculate the area of triangle as well by using this Heron's formula. I hope you got it. Hmm? Right now? Okay, so one more question just. Let me explain one more question. One more question. And uh, that is, find the area of triangle. Let me write this second question. Find the area of triangle whose length of two sides are, length of two sides are, what? 8 centimeter and 11 centimeter. 8 centimeter and 11 centimeter. And perimeter is 32 centimeter. Perimeter of triangle is 32 centimeter. That we need to calculate. So, let me write the solution. Should I? Sum of length, perimeter is, we know, A plus B plus C and perimeter is 32, one of the sides say 8, another side is 11 and C is not known. So, we can calculate C as 32 minus 19, that is 13 centimeter. So, three sides are 8, 11 and 13 centimeter. I hope you got it. So, let A is equal to 8, B is equal to 11 and C is equal to 13. Now, since perimeter is already given, can we calculate semi-perimeter? Yes, sir. How is that? Half of the perimeter? Yes, you are right. Half of the perimeter we can calculate. So, perimeter, semi-perimeter would be half of the perimeter. That is half of 32 which is 16. So, semi-perimeter, 
that will come semi perimeter age 16 okay and now we can apply Heron's formula by Heron's formula formula area of triangle by Heron's formula what is the area of triangle hmm? that is not Heron's formula Heron's formula is yes hmm. S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. So, we can write here 16 into 16 minus 8, 16 minus 11 and 16 minus 13. These are the three sides. So, we can write this 16 into 16 minus 8 is 8, 16 minus 11 is 5, 16 minus 13 is 3. So, we need to write it just a second. We need to write it like this, 16 can be written as 8 into, can be written as 16 into 8, that is uh, 16, 8 into 8 can be written as 8 into 2 into 8 and this is 5, this is 3. So, 1 8 will come outside and remaining product will left inside 2 into 5 into 3. 5 to 10, 10 3 is 30. So, 8 into a square root of 30 centimeter square that will be the area of that triangle whose perimeter is 32 given and length of sides are 8 and 11. I hope you got it. Got it? Huh? Okay. <laughs> so, I have another question. Let us see this. And one more question I am going to discuss on the basis of hero formula today. And uh, try to understand this. This question is about uh, question is like sometimes the sides of triangles are given not exactly the length. In that case you can also calculate the area of triangles. For example write here a question. If the sides of triangle if the sides of triangle are in ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7 and its perimeter is 300 centimeter find the area of triangle find the area of triangle Right? This is the question. And we have to solve this. So, let me write the solution. Proportionality is something which is in simplest form. Comparison of two items. Ratio is something which is a comparison of two items, two things, two length, maybe two area, maybe two volume, anything. So, to find the exact value, let us multiply this by a constant number. So, let we can write, let the sides of triangles, sides of triangles are 3k, 5k and 7k. Sides of triangles are 3k, 5k and 7k. K is something constant because this is in ratio, not exact value. So, to find the exact number, we need to multiply by some constant. So, 3k 5k and 7k. Say A is equal to 3k, B is equal to 5k and C is equal to 7k. We know perimeter is A plus B plus C. So, we can write this. Perimeter is what given? Perimeter is given 300. So, we can write this. 300 is equal to 300 is equal to 3k plus 5k plus 7k. That is 5, 3, 8 plus 7, 15k is equal to 300. k is equal to 300 by 15. So, k is nothing else but 20. Now, we can find it that a is 3k. So, 3 into 20. k is 20. So, 60 centimeter. B is 5K, so 
सो फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी दैट इज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर एंड सी इज सेवन के दैट इज सेवन इंटू ट्वेंटी दैट इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर पेरीमीटर इज थ्री हंड्रेड यू गॉट दिस सो सेमी पेरीमीटर इज सेमी पेरीमीटर इज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी बाई टू और पे हाफ ऑफ द पेरीमीटर इवेंट so this is nothing else but 300 divided by 2 which is 150 cm now we need to calculate this area of triangle so area of triangle therefore area of triangle can be calculated by using heron's formula may i write like this s s minus a s minus b and s minus c so what will happen This is 150, 150 minus a, a is what 60, 150 minus b, b is what 100, and 150 minus c, c is what 100, uh, 140. Sorry, c is just 140. So we can write here 140, 140. Now we will have this 150 into 90 into 50. Into 150 minus 140 is 10. Now we may use the factor method to find the square root of number. And what is that factor method? Write in simplest form. 15 can I write 15 as 15 into 10? And 90 can be written as 15 into 6? And 50 can be written as 5 into 10. Into 10. Two ten, one pair of ten, and one pair of fifteen can be taken out. Fifteen into ten can be taken out. So what is left there? One ten is left. So that can be written as five into two. Six can be written as two into three, and five one more here. This five left. This ten left, which I have written here, five into two. This six left, that is I have written here, two into three, and this five is still left, so I can written five. Now one five and one two are making the pairs, so they can be taken out. So one five and one two can be taken out. Can I take it? Yes. So fifteen into ten into five into two, and what is left inside? Three only. So fifteen into ten is one fifty. One fifty into two is three hundred, and three hundred into five is fifteen hundred. So fifteen hundred under root three centimeter square is the area of triangle. I hope you got it. Yes. Right now. So in this way, if the length of three sides are given, we can calculate the area of triangle by using Heron's formula. I hope you will practice the questions. Lot of questions, and if you have any doubt, do write to us at Arvind Singh Academy at the rate of gmail dot com.